all be ashamed of yourselves, insinuating that he's a monster or a traitor or anything other than what he really is, a hero. Who do you think he's been fighting for? Who do you think he selflessly gave his life for? <laughs> and this is how you reward him? It doesn't matter what's in your blood. All that matters is what's inside your heart. So we're back. I definitely didn't film as much as I wanted to in Half Price Books, but I figured I would show you guys everything that I picked up and include some stuff that I've picked up from other stores, but they are book related. Getting right into it, I should address that I have been accumulating the entire Suki Stackhouse novel series, aka the True Blood series, because I watched the show on HBO Max a few months ago and I binged the whole thing. I absolutely loved it. So I would love to read the books, but I told myself I wasn't going to start reading them until I got all of them. So I got most of them from Savers. I ended up paying $2 for these. So these are not going to be in order, but um, we have Dead Ever, Ever After, and these are the hard covers. They're really nice, but I got these on 50% off day, so they were two bucks. But the Suki Stackhouse Companion, Dead in the Family, Dead and Gone, Dead Reckoning, and Deadlock. At a, another thrift store, um, I think I paid, it was $2 for hard covers, so I got Suki Stackhouse, The Complete Stories, A Touch of Dead. And then because I was just trying to find all the books because I still didn't have book one, I went and looked at the paperbacks and I found Definitely Dead, Dead Until Dark, and All Together Dead. I'm gonna go to Half Price Books and see if I can finish this set. And I did finish it. So I got Dead to the World in hardcover because it was six dollars. I wanted to get all of them in hardcover because I just think that they look nicer, but I knew I already had some paperback, so like it wasn't the end of the world. Club Dead from Dead to Worse, Living Dead in Dallas, Dead as a Doornail for four dollars. So I was just gonna pick these up. So I finally got all of the books so I can start reading those. I got the uh, second book to If I Stay, This Is Where She Went. This was on clearance for $2. And then I also got them Every Day by David Leviathan because they read the Will Grayson, Will Grayson, which I believe was co-written by David Leviathan. But I know that he wrote one of the books with John Green and they've read all of the John Green books and they love them. So I was like, maybe they'll like this one. And this was also on clearance for $2. So caught them two things of Naruto manga because Naruto is like their favorite anime ever and the only anime that I think that they watch. So this one is volumes 4, 5, and 6 and this one is volumes 13, 14, and 15. And then lastly for them I got Zelda the Twilight Princess. This is number 5. I went to Books a Million with my friend Sam who I do a lot of my Squishmallow videos with and she loves to read manga and I was reminiscing about the manga that I used to read when I was in high school. And one of those was Vampire Night, and that was literally my probably favorite manga. Like, it's probably not sold anymore because it's been 10 plus years or whatever. Vampire Night Memories. Now, they only had two, four, and six. 
So uh, they didn't have number one, but I was like, oh my god, there's another series. So I was like, I have to buy these. I have to buy these. I was having an urge. I've been rewatching the anime, so I was like, I'm just living out my teenage fantasy. And so I was like, I wonder if Half Price Books will have any of the Vampire Night mangas because I sold all my mangas when I moved out of my parents' house. All the volumes, 1 through 19, I think. And I had the art book and I had like a fan book or something. I had a lot. So I was like really upset now that of course I want to read them again and I don't have them. So I was like, maybe Half Price Books will have some, but probably not. They had one through six. What are the chances? I was like, shut up. Now, for some reason, some of these were five dollars and then other ones were only four fifty, so I don't really know what was up with that. But I know that like volume 16, I guess, is like super hard to come by, so for some reason that one is like forty dollars. I don't really know, but now I have one through six. And once I read these, I'll worry about finding the rest of them, but I think I have plenty to keep myself busy for like a week. And then randomly I found Devil May Cry 3. I didn't even know that they made a manga for Devil May Cry. This is based on the video game, obviously, and I love the Devil May Cry video game. So I was like, this is kind of badass. Like this is pretty cool. So I just bought it kind of impulsively. It was five bucks. This is volume two or it's code two Virgil. So I don't know how many there are in this set or anything. And then as you guys saw, I did sell some stuff. So I actually got $45 in store credit. I, for some reason, decided to buy all of these, but it was actually a really good deal when you think about it. So I bought two through 12 of Death Note, which is a manga that I started but I never finished. And I watched some of the anime but I didn't finish the anime either. So I was like, I think since I'm a little, you know, I'm obviously older now, I feel like this is more up my alley. So I just grabbed them. I was trying to look them up. I know that the box set is like $200 and it's 1 through 12. So I was like for five bucks a piece for me to spend $50 to get all of these I think is a pretty reasonable price. And I just ordered the first one on Mercari for $4. So I will have all of them. That's everything that I got from Half Price Books. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any Half Price Books near you. They're great for other things than books like movies, CDs, records, magazines, comics, video games. They have so much stuff. I just didn't really find anything aside from books this trip, which I'm not complaining about. I love you guys. I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.